Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe Calatrava 5107G. You can see and you can purchase this white gold automatic winding Patek Philippe Calatrava on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. And please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe 5107 5107G. Now produced from roughly 2000 to 2005, the 5107G was the progressive Calatrava in the collection at the time, combining some of the more modern features of automatic winding, the jump date, and center seconds that weren't necessarily part of the 1932 original, but have become accepted and even expected in the luxury watch segment as an option for Patek Philippe connoisseurs today. Now the watch has purity of line and traditional dimensions. You can see the beautiful blended lugs, the thin profile of the case, only 37 millimeters across, not inclusive of the crown or crown guards. It's wonderfully flat at only nine millimeters thick, one of the principal differences between the 5107 and the successor 5127 was the loft and broad span of the bezels relative to each other. The 5107 featuring the broad span and the 5127 featuring a little bit more loft, a more domed bezel that's narrower in diameter and more dramatically sloped. Because this watch is so flat, it slides under a dress cuff even more easily than its successor. Both of them thin, fine, but this one has the edge. Now from Lug to lug, the watch measures a traditional 46 millimeters across the wrist, which gave Patek Philippe designers flexibility to extend the lugs. When a watch case is truly oversized, you can't create a bigger client for your bigger watch, so designers have to compromise and pare down the lugs and make them a smaller and smaller proportion of the watch's overall aesthetic. On traditionally sized timepieces, lugs can extend beautifully and taper and curve, and here they do that to great effect. I believe that down to a wrist of 13 and a half centimeters in circumference, you should be able to wear this one with outstanding proportion, security, and a handsome aesthetic. The watch is glorious, Thin, fine, and beautifully sculpted, these gorgeous compound curves give way to a thin and high-grade gloss monotone stitch rectangular scale alligator leather strap from Patek Philippe. You can see this one's brand new with a wonderful calfskin insert on the bottom for souplesse, a spade style polished white gold pin buckle to match for easy on the fly adjustments and a traditional profile. And you can see the case is wonderfully gleaming, glossy, rich, and lustrous, high polish, in, in all metals works better on smaller, thinner, finer cases. When a case gets too big and bulbous and high polished, it becomes almost an aberration. Here, I can't imagine it any other way. You can see strong case band lines flowing from lug to lug, emphasized by the junction of the step of the case top and the bezel, and likewise the case band and the case back. The broad powerful white gold bezel becomes a more dominant styling feature of the 5107 than on the 5127. It adds a robust masculinity to the dial, it gives way to a beautiful opaline silver white center with dimple style minute and seconds outboard, lancet seconds hand, dauphine faceted white gold hands at center for hours and minutes, there's a white gold frame for the date disc, and a small discreet traditional Patek Philippe Genève marquee at 12 o'clock. Now you turn the watch over and you can see the screwed in case back to complement a screw down crown, it's nevertheless 3 ATM so don't go diving, and you can see the caliber 315, part of the family of Patek Philippe's center rotor automatics. It predates the modern 324, beating away at a stately 21,600 vibrations per hour. It does feature the Gyromax style balance, free sprung, which you can see, which is better for taking and holding a tight and precise regulation, even in the face of bumps, vibrations, and disruptions. That's the advantage of a free sprung balance. You can see, since the Patek Philippe seal was phased in in mid-2009 and all of the 5107s were built from roughly 2000 to 2005, a few platinum ones in 2006, this watch bears the traditional Poinçon de Genève seal, the imprimatur of the highest standard of finish executed in the city or canton of Genève. Now you can see from this angle the beautifully textured Cote de Genève linear across the bridges, circular across the golden winding mass, and the inner flourish of a tight engine turned prolage at the center of the rotor. You can also see there is a beautiful engine turning beneath the balance 
perlage base plate naturally, all screws with polished heads and chamfered slots. And at the edge of every bridge, you can just barely see it here, but there is a mirrored and rounded hand laid anglage. It's a gorgeous watch that rewards repeat viewing, an absolute pleasure to wear. It wears just as well with smart casual attire as it does with formal attire, fitting underneath any dress cuff or tight sleeve, but nevertheless also holding its own when the time comes to wear short sleeves. This is a modern, handsome, and practical Patek Philippe for daily wear. You can see and you can purchase this Patek Philippe 5107G in white gold on our website.